I still see your shadows in my room. Can't take back the love that I gave you. It's to the point where. Yo, what is going on, buddy? It's Fashion Series here, back with our video game chance in NBA 2K19 rebuilding video, and today we're gonna be rebuilding the Chicago Bulls with Kobe White. So I did a D'Angelo Russell Bulls rebuild for fun, uh, you know, become kind of cool to see. Obviously, I don't think that's gonna happen now with Kobe White being uh, drafted. So I'm, I'm actually really happy with that pick. I wanted uh, Cam Reddish, but the more I'm reading about Kobe White, I think he's a great fit for this team. So let's look at stats adding right here. Let's get a trainer. Randy Martin will sign him to the Chicago Bulls team. Let's also get an assistant GM. Owen Masters sounds good to me. And then assistant coach Trent Peterson will get him. We got lots of money to throw at some people uh, for coaching. We got that all done. So for the NBA draft, uh, what I did, take a look at the draft lottery. Uh, it's you know relatively accurate. We have the sixth pick, but it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Cause I'm gonna do, do whatever I had to do to get Kobe White on the team. So, um, but yeah. So we're gonna. Um, I mean, it's got, I got a few picks accurate. It's up to the CPU to figure out what they're doing. Um, you know who they want to draft. I'm not gonna do all that stuff. So, uh, Bobo's down here. Wait, point guards. Kobe White is out here. We're gonna draft him real quick. Okay. We do have a second round pick. Hopefully, we can get Daniel Gafford. Um, and he is out here. Perfect. So we got both those guys didn't have to do anything. Uh, that's great. Uh, John Wright went number one. Zion falls to the Knicks. See that? I mean, I can't control that, but uh, there's Garland did go to the Cavs. Um, Pelicans dig a Jackson Hayes. Uh, right, so I mean, yeah, there's not much I can do with that. I will sign both these guys, of course. Kobe White is 77 overall team options. I will accept. Uh, Walter Lemon Jr. is not. Uh, Cabarets, though, we will offer the qualifying offer to Ryan Archie Diacono. Uh, we will also see Bird Rights, Wayne Selden, Cabarets. Eh, I'm not really thinking I need to do anything there, but here's what I do need to do is how much money do I have? Do I not have that much? Okay, well. All right, well, I'm going to look to package some people together here, uh, like Chris Dunn and Otto Porter. Now, realistically, the Bulls are going to keep Otto Porter, and I think they're going to keep Chris Dunn, too. Uh, they may move him, but I kind of doubt they will. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, two first-round picks there. Uh, we could use that. We can get, like, Clint Capella, TJ Warren, who I forgot to trade to the... Pacer Steven Adams. Nothing exciting. I thought I was going to get a little more. If I just threw Chris Dunn out there, uh, can I get anything for him? Because I want to sign Derrick Rose and Patrick Beverly. That's the goal. So if I can get like a first round pick for him, that would be great. Tony Bradley in a first. Not bad. Mitchell Robinson in a second. I always give Mitchell Robinson, but they always put him on the trade block. So it's a very solid deal. First round pick in Nene. I'm going to get Mitchell Robinson again. <laughs> I just got him in my last rebuild. Um, the Nuggets, Bobo Bull, Nuggets rebuild, but um, at least we got our center now. Actually, Daniel, I forgot about Daniel Gafford. Um, hmm. Well, he'll play this season, and then I could just sign a veteran. I can move Mitchell Robinson then. Let me see if I can move him and Felicio, package them together, maybe get something decent. Um, maybe a first round pick is kind of what I'm looking for. First jump pick from the Knicks, we can uh, give a Mitchell Robinson back. That kind of works for me. They can take on a bad contract. Don't really see anything else I like, so I'm gonna actually going to go ahead and do that deal. Ship him back there. So we basically gave up Felicio and Dunn for a couple picks. And, um, yeah, I guess, like, I mean, I did kind of lose these trades a little bit, but whatever. We got rid of some uh, contract stuff. Now, how? what's the most we can afford here? If I, can I afford... I'm very close to offering like a uh, very close to offering a max. So I can offer about like 30 mil a season. I can get like a Vucevic. Um, I'm gonna offer him a deal. <laughs> uh, if you know if he signs, great. The Angel Russell I can try to bring in. Um, but that's not what I'm gonna be doing. But a Tobias Harris would sound interesting, or like a Julius Randle. I, I like that. Julius Randle would be decent. Malcolm Brogdon linked to the Bulls uh, quite a bit. I don't know if it makes, I mean it does make sense because he doesn't shooting, but now I don't know if it does. I probably want to be a starter, but Derrick Rose does have two offers. Looks like he's going to go to the Suns. I can offer him a deal. I'm going to, that's a lot of money though. Offer him a team deal there. And then can I get like a Patrick Beverly as well? Use all my offers. We get Julius Randle or Derrick Rose. Mmm. <laughs> um... Here's the thing. <laughs> uh, 
I might be able to trade out of Porter. If I could trade Porter, then I could have enough space to get both those guys. Should be pretty decent. So if I could trade Porter for like a first, Rocco would be not would not be bad. Steven Adams, Capella, Serge Ibaka. Yo, here's the deal I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna send Blakeney, but I'm gonna get a first round pick here. Um, because I did give them already Chris Dunn and Felicio, I'm gonna do this deal then. I'm just gonna force that over. Um, I mean, I could give him some. I guess I could have given him Blakeney. I mean, I don't really know. I'm not gonna need him. So, actually, yeah, let me let me go trade him there real quick. Alright, cool. And so now I can get both Derrick Rose and Julius Randle on the team. How convenient. Vucevic signs with the Magic, that's fine. Uh, I would still like to get Beverly. We'll see if I can get him. Um, I could bring. I, I mean, I could even offer somebody else a deal, as well. Uh, like I could throw some big bucks at like a well, Jimmy Butler isn't there anymore, but Tobias Harris. But I'm gonna get Julius Randle. I think for this episode, I could get like Bogdanovich sometimes. Uh, the Bulls do 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 get him in the my leagues. You never know. Um, Meritage to bring him back to Chicago. Um, yeah, I'm still hoping I can get Beverly. Oh, I forgot to offer him a deal. Hopefully, I have enough to get all three, except another offer. So, at least we'll get one of the two guys who uh, could come to the Bulls. We do get both Rose and Randall. Very nice. Uh, unfortunately, Beverly is gone. But that means, if you look at our team now, we got uh, Kobe White will be the starter. Rose will be the sixth man. We got Levine. I'm going to need a backup shooting guard. Um, that's why I kind of plan to get, like, Beverly. Because then I can make him like play the backup shooting guard. Derrick Rose be the backup shooting guard. Um, yeah, so Randall's going to be the small forward. We're running a little big lineup, but it's all good. I mean, he's 6'9", so just a little, you know, he's kind of like got like a Zion Williamson built in a way. A little chunkier. Um, I mean, you know, no offense for anything in that. Just, that's just the way his body's built. But, he's, you know, he's got some muscle. 250 weighs a little more than Laurie Marketing. So... I mean, that is just a fact. But anyway, Chandler Hutchinson, definitely going to put him in the G League. He's going to be a big piece for us going forward. Mitchell Robinson, we do have him back in the team. Um, I think we might play him at, like, the four. I need to get some veterans now and see what I can, like, afford. I, what did I say I need? I need a shooting guard. A power, no, shooting guard and a power forward. Maybe even, like, a center to green. We could bring Taj Gibson home. I'm going to do that. Let's see if I can get all these guys. A reason we're in Renan's rights on, Ar on Archie. We will get Taj and Lance. Let's see if we can get... Rodney Hood goes to Blazers. Dang it. Who's going to be a really nice piece for us? So let's see. Avery Bradley maybe. 7 mil. I don't know if I want to give him 7 mil though. Here we are at player progression. Of course, Randall did go up one. Did anybody regress? Taj went down. So did Lance. Only because of the positional change. So thankfully, nobody's uh, you know regressing heavily. Obviously, this is a very young team too. At training camps, so we're gonna be sending Kobe White to the first one. He goes up to an A. Uh, probably gonna send Daniel Gafford to one. He goes up to a B plus. So he'll really develop in the G League. And for our third and final one. Let's send Laurie Market in there. I really want to see him develop and um, be a big part of what we're doing. Big star. Um, you know, him and, and Levine, I think, are going to be our main scores. I'm going to come and figure out the rotation. I'm going to come right back to you. For this first season, Kobe White's going to get 33 minutes. Levine's 34. Randall, 33. Markin in 34. Ronald Carter Jr., 29. Rose, 26. Off the bench as the sixth man. Mitchell Robinson, 20. Taj, 18. Denzel Valentine, 13. I was going to, I figured to give. Uh, Lance doing some minutes, unfortunately, just did not work out. So for first scoring option, it's gonna be Zach Levine, then Laurie Marketing, and then it's gonna be uh, no preference. I mean, it could be either Randall or Kobe White. Um, White's gonna be a, I think he's gonna be a great facilitator, and I think he's gonna be a good scorer for us as well. So let me go ahead and get this a free agent real quick, uh, so I can can I get like Paul Gasol? Assistant proficiency. Uh, wow, that's we got three stars for everything. That's, that's a little sad. One card junior marketing do not fit well. So we're just going to have to do the balanced. I really thought the stars would be a little bit better, but I guess not. Power rankings. We are 16th by NBA.com. 6th by 2K Sports. A little respectable there. And 16th by Marks. The end of the first season. Look at that record. 57 and 25. A great first year. Giannis wins MVP. The rookie of the year goes to Zion Williamson on the Knicks. Uh, Lonzo Ball, 6th man of the year for the Pelicans. Um, Giannis, Defensive Player of the Year, Most Improved, CJ McCollum, Brett Brown, Coach of the Year with the same record as us. Um, Zion Ray on the first team, that's that's nice. <laughs> um, let's go set third team. Any Anybody on any of these teams for us? All defensive teams? Nobody there. 
Uh, we do get Kobe White in the first team. Let's take a look at his stats for the season. Being snug for Rookie of the Year is stamping my spirits. <laughs> Our rookie team shows my hard work is paid off. It's funny when you look at the morale. 15 points, 7 assists, 2 boards, 2 steals. 45% uh, from the field while shooting 39% from downtown. Very solid year from uh, Kobe White. There's the all-rookie uh, second team here. And let's go ahead and look at the team stats for this season and the player stats as well. So we, we had the second best record in the NBA. I mean, we were basically tied with the 76ers. They must have the tiebreaker or something. But number five in scoring and number seven in uh, defense and six in point differential. Looking at the player stats, Zach Levine, nice season, 23 points, uh, four boards, four assists, steal, 47% in the field while shooting 40% from deep. Julius Randle, 17 points. I really want Markin to be the second leading scorer, but whatever. Uh, Randle with uh, 17, 8, and 4. Nice season from him, very nice season. Uh, Laurie Markin with 15 and 8. Also, not a block. Okay, I thought he was going to average a block. He shot 37% deep, 43% overall. Uh, Randall shot 30% deep, 60% overall. We could Kobe White. We saw his stats. Uh, very great season from him. One, uh, Derek Rose uh, off the bench, 15-4. and four. Great season. 52% from the field, 42% from downtown. One card junior, nice season. 10 points, 8 boards, 3 assists, and 2 blocks per game. Did a great job defensively. Did he shoot 3 at all? 33%, not bad. Uh, Mitchell Robinson, six points as a Valentine, six. Taj, about six, five boards. So, um, yeah, great, great season. I like in the first season, this is great. So, we are on this side, I'm not used to Western Conference teams. We're taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers in the first round. They went 41 41 with Darius Garland and Kellen Sexton. We were up 2 0, 3 0. We got the sweet baby. This young Bulls team is moving on to the next round, and we're taking on the Boston Celtics, who take down the three-seeded Milwaukee Bucks. They have Bo Bull, uh, Gordon Hayward, Kyrie did stay. They have Al Horford still. Obviously, that team is going to probably change quite a bit. Let's look at the closeout game. Kevin Love on that team, too. Um, yeah, it's really just kind of Garland, Sexton, and Kevin Love. Um, look at our team. Mark and love the way for us. Kobe White, Levine, Rose, all had 17. Randall was 16 and 7. The Robinson and Taj with 10 and 7 each. One card junior, 4, 5, 4 7, and 5. Uh, let's take on this Boston Celtics team. I'm not scared of them, honestly. Um, they just got Kyrie. We got Kobe White. He can lock them down. We got some great scores on this team, too. It's up 3 1. We're already going to the second round, baby, or the conference finals, I should say. What am I saying? Anyway, Julius ran on 25, 6, and 3. Kobe White, 21 and 11, 9 and 19 in the field, 3, 6 from deep. Zach Levine, 21 points. So oh, that's, that's very nice. Three 20 point scores. Laurie Markham with 18 and 8. Mitchell Robinson, 12 and 4. Look at one of Carter Jr. grabbing 15. Boards Rose with 9 points. And you guys can see some of the rest of the stats there. Let's take on the 76ers team, which is the number one seed, 2 to 1. Down 3-1, and we get eliminated in five. Damn, bro. The, we lose to the number one seed, same record, and it's Warriors uh, 76. So I'm going to take a look at their teams in a minute. And look at our uh, Golden State Warriors win. Let's see, Steph, Steph Curry. They have Jimmy Butler. Wow, they got Tyreek Evans, banned from the NBA, of course. Draymond Green. So all they did was add Jimmy Butler and Evans. All right, 76ers team, what do they have? They all, oh, they got Kevin Durant. Okay, they got Durant, Simmons, Harris, Harrow. Wow, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Well, let's look at um, this final game here. Rough game from Randall, Levine, Kobe White. Just eight shots. I mean, it's not a terrible market in 5 of 14, though. But anyway, that's a great, great first year. I'm very happy with that. Let's go to the draft lottery here. I don't think we have any... Uh, oh, we have that New York pick, baby. The fifth pick in the draft. That's some cheese. That one trade we did. We were definitely going to be bringing back, if I can find him here, Jim Boylan. He did an exceptional job this season. Uh, props to him for getting us to the conference finals. We'll see if he can take us in to the uh, NBA finals next season. And we do get both. Uh, we do get Boylan and uh, Lewis Fletcher. Let's go to the draft, see what's going on here with the fifth pick. I'm not going to look to move up. We're just going to stay at five. And who's out here? LaMelo Ball, RJ Hansen, both overseas guys who did, you know, play overseas anyway. Theo Malden, Isaiah Stewart, Precious Achua, um, Jaden McDaniels. Um, I'm going to go. How do I go RJ Hansen or LaMelo? Picking LaMelo Ball. Oh, boy. We're bringing, we're bringing the balls to Chicago. Um... 
Mac McClung, Trey Jones. I don't need more point guards though. I need like wing players. Cassius Stanley. Sounds good to me from Duke. We have another pick? Okay, we have a second round pick now. Let's see if we can get maybe another wing player or a big man. Uh, Mac McClung still out here. Trey Jones. Steven Adnock. I've gotten him before. He's pretty solid. Um, I'm going to get Mac McClung. We have another second round pick of these. I feel, I feel like all these are from the Knicks. With all those trades we did. We got an overseas player. Um, yeah, I'm going to take him. James Wiseman went number one. Vernon Carey Jr. number two. Uh, Anthony Edwards three. Williamson, or three. Uh, Williamson went three. Edwards went four. Man, could have gotten him. Uh, Lamelle Ball 79 overall went to us at five. Rookie signing. We will sign all of these guys uh, for sure. Looks like Hassel is going to be a beast in a few years once he comes out of the overseas. Dan Gafford, definitely going to bring him back. Uh, all these guys. We got a lot of good players on this team. Very excited for it. I don't, I mean, I'll offer it to uh, Lemon Jr. and also Valentine. If I get them, great. I can use them in trade pieces because you know me. Never. Um, Bro, why does he always, always go to the Grizzlies? He never re signs the Lakers every time he goes to the freaking Grizzlies. And they're OP because they always have John Morant. But thankfully, I don't think they got him in this rebuild. But uh, Mike Conley's out there. But yeah, so <laughs> anyway, um, let's just look at the team right now as it stands. We got Rose, White, LaMelo, um, also Mac McClung. We got Levine and uh, Lance Stevenson. We got Randall Hutchinson. Marketing Gibson, we got one of our junior Robinson and Gafford. So I have a lot of players, and I don't really want to like make an upgrade over these guys. Uh, the only thing I can think of is like trading Randall, a uh, bunch of young pieces for an even better small forward. Uh, I could trade for a center, but one of our junior Gafford, fine. Or Marketing is one of the you know cornerstones of the franchise. And I mean, I could get a point guard as well. I could make get a super good point guard. I could do something like that, but I don't know if that's really realistic. Uh, but I mean, we do just we have just so many good players. Uh, can I trade for like a? Oh come on, bro, that's such a good deal. Trade Lance Stevenson and his second round pick for a first round pick for the Clippers. I was looking at some big mega deals, but I don't know. It's just, it's just not gonna work out. So uh, we're gonna have Rose White. Obviously, White will be starting. Levine Lamelo. Randall Hutchinson, um, Markin and Gibson, and then oh, I gotta trade Mitchell Robinson too because I want Gaffer to play. So if I move Robinson for somebody, like I'm just looking for picks, really more first round picks or um, yeah, like two first round picks that works for me. Jimmy Grant, I don't really want a whole lot, just first round picks. Uh, let's look at the best one there is. I'm gonna do this deal with the Bucks. We're gonna get two first round picks, Fisher first, and we're gonna get rid of Mitchell Robinson there. So if we look at our uh, picks. We have a lot of artillery here to uh, do some pull some big moves if for some reason our season next year does not work out. Uh, Marketing didn't even like progress uh, last season. But yeah, I think we're pretty much set. I mean, even in free agency, I could bring back like Valentine or something. Um, let's look at the best overall. Could I offer a deal? I can't offer any big deals. But I signed Alfred Payton. Now, what I'm going to do with Alfred Payton, I mean, I had the money to sign, some pe to sign somebody, so might as well do it. I'm going to trade Payton and just try to get some first or something. Uh, maybe a young player I can develop in the G League, something. Jeremy Grant, some solid players out here. Luke Kennard, here's the some first-round picks. They're favors. Yeah, solid backup for us. Two firsts from the Hawks. I'm going to do this deal. <laughs> we got so many first-round picks. <laughs> oh, my God, look at all this. Look at this next year. We're going to have so many picks. At player progression, Zach Levine, 86 overall. Market went up 3 to an 86. Kobe White, 83. Rose, 83. Gwena Card Jr., 82. Lamelo already going up. I guess it was because of the positional change to shooting guard. He's an 81. Daniel Gafford, all the way up to an 80. Jalen Hutchinson, 78. Tosh goes down a little bit. That's all right. And then these other guys are going to be in the G League and overseas. They're going to be developing even more. And then uh, we have a ton of of first round picks next year so we're gonna have a lot of young players I'm gonna be trying to make one of the biggest trades ever um, that I've, I don't know if I'll ever be able to top but I'm gonna try something huge next season but first and foremost let's just try to win the championship while we can at training camps we're gonna be sending uh, Kobe White to the first one that obviously is the title of the video so we gotta develop him as much as possible I want Laurie Marketing going to one he stays at A unfortunately and I will send the last one to 
Um, who's another young player? I'm gonna send one card junior there. He goes up to an eight. So we're gonna be sending Cassius Stanley to the G League and also Mac McClung. Here is the rotation for this second season. Kobe White, Levine, Randall, Markin, all getting 33. One card junior 30. Rose 23. Lamelo 20. Gafford 15. Chandler Hutchinson 10. Taj 10. And for scoring preferences, I'm probably should I do Markin or should I do Levine first? Um, Markin is probably or should I just do Kobe White to see the title of the video? I'm gonna do Kobe White. See what he can do. Um, sometimes, you know, that scoring preferences doesn't even matter. And looks like we are best at 7 seconds or pace and space. I'm going to try 7 seconds. Have not run it in a long time. We're going to see what that can do with this team. Let's look at the power rankings for this season. We are 12th by NBA.com, 4 by 2K Sports, and 12 from Mark Spears. At the end of the second season, Giannis wins MVP. Ricky Deere goes RJ Hampton. On the Grizzlies, Alonzo, sixth man of the year. Anthony Davis on the Grizzlies gets defensive player of the year, most improved, Montres Harrell. And uh, so I'm not sure how much footage was recorded in the bit of rebuild that I did. Do we have one more season left? And like I said, uh, I stopped the recording, wasn't working right, so I'm not sure. I haven't looked at it yet how much is, um, you know, okay and how much of it is screwed up. Uh, but yeah, so right now, let me just show you guys the roster, what it's looking like after the rookies and everything. I've been trying to make trades for quite a while now, trying to make a big move, but nobody wants to bite. Uh, we got one, two, uh, three, we got McClung, who I'm trying to trade. Uh, we got Levine and Lamella, we got Randall, I've been trying to trade him, Hutchinson, Barnes, McClung, and also like Sharif and Diop, because Gaffer is going to come back on that restricted uh, qualifying offer. So... Yeah, I've been trying to do that. Hasn't worked, so I'm just going to start trading people away, seeing what I can get. Uh, if I can get anything decent, that'd be great. i just get some more, maybe more first-round picks or something. Um, I can still sign at 80 overall, too. And, look, they give me Brian Antone, which is actually really solid. Um, is he? Did he play in the league yet? He did not. Hmm. I'm going to do this deal with the Clippers. We're going to get Landry Shamet and a first round pick. Uh, I might just flip him around for something else. I have so many first round picks still. Uh, McClung and Shamet. Just see what I can get. I'm going to do this deal right here. McClung and Shamet for Simmons and a first round pick. Now let's see if I can flip Simmons and Hutchinson. We're going to do this deal right here. Uh, I'm going to see if I can change it around a little bit though. But... I found this in the trade finder. Let me get rid of the first round pick. Can I just do that for Marvin Bagley? Um, Simmons, I will throw you Chan Hutchinson instead. They agreed to that. Nice. So if we look at our team now, um, let's see. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we're going to have 11 with Gafford. So the move might be to see what I can find for Bagley and Randall. All right, we signed Nerlens Noel to a three-year deal. Time to flip him. I'm, I'm doing, I'm pulling out all the stops for this rebuild. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some big trades here. Still trying to, you know, continue the movement. See what we can come up with. Um, nothing. Okay, so now I'm gonna try something. All right, we put all those first-round picks to use. And uh, we got RJ Hampton, Nerlens Noel, and one, two, three, four, five first round picks. So we got RJ Hampton on, RJ Hampton on the team. And now we're going to try to pull something else off. We got Bagley and Scylla. I'm going to try to pull something else pretty insane off, see what I can do here. Bagley, Hampton, Scylla. The first. Oh, let's go! DeAndre Ayton, welcome to the team. Oh my goodness, let's take a look at what I just pulled off right here. Bagley, Hampton, and Silla for DeAndre Ayton, who is a 90 overall. Automatically our highest overall player. It's going to be uh, the starting center for this team, I guess. I mean, I don't know, because I still want Monocard Jr. to be the center. So, what happens if I move Ayton? What can I find for Ayton? Uh, Miles Turner. Yeah, I'm not going to get anything good. I can get Marvin Bagley back. Yeah, the trade offers are terrible in return. For a 90, you know, considering he's a 90 overall, so I might try something else. I do get Gafford back on the qualifying offer. 
Um, so now what we're gonna do here is take a look at what we got. Let me see if I can get something for Gibson. Uh, a first round pick or something would be very nice. Roster right now at the end of free agency. And we're about to look at player progression. But Kobe White, uh, Derrick Rose, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Going to be a fun season. Here is player progression. Deion's rating up to a 91, our number one overall player. Uh, Lauren Markin, 89. Zach Levine, 88. Kobe White, 88. Wanna Card Jr., 87. Uh, was like an 86, but then with the power forward position change, now he's an 87. Julius Randle, 87. Uh, Lamelo all the way up to an 85. Derrick Rose staying at an 83. Gafford up to an 82. Gibson stays at a 76 despite losing some stuff. Um, so, yeah, let's go to training camps and hop into year number three. At training camps, we're going to be sending Kobe White to another untapped potential center. I think we send him every year. Uh, we will also be sending an untapped potential to... Um, should I send Lori Market in there? Who's like a close to... I think I'll send Zach Levine there. Stays at A. And then the final one, I will send Julius Randle there. Oh, for the final season... All the starters are getting 32 apiece. One Card Jr. only getting 20. Lamelo 17. Derrick Rose 15. Gafford 15. And Jalen Johnson, the number three overall pick, is getting 13 minutes. Uh, we're just gonna do Kobe White again since he's the title of the video. Uh, still look at system proficiency. Should be pretty good uh, with whatever you pick. Seven seconds. I'm gonna change to balanced. I think. Um, yeah, we're gonna do balanced. Just to see when a car junior does not fit it any better. Looking at power rankings, we are ranked 5th, 4th, and 6th. The end of the final season, Zion Williamson wins MVP. Rookie of the Year goes to Evan Mobley. Colin Sexton, 6th man of the year. Anthony Davis, Defensive Player of the Year. Theo Maldon, Most Improved. And Jim Boylan, Coach of the Year with a 60-22 record. Here's the All-NBA first team, second team. I just went to the rookie team. I hate that when it happens sometimes. All-NBA second team, RJ Barrett on that. Uh, we did not get anybody on these teams, but it's not good. They're sleeping on us, but it's fine. We are a well-oiled uh, team. So let's look at our stats for this season. Team stats first. We were fourth in uh, scoring, number one in defense, number one in point differential. Looking at player stats here, uh, Kobe White led the way with 18 a game. Also, eight assists while shooting 39% from deep. 95% um, from the free throw line. Zach Levine, 17 points, 4 assists, 50% from the field basically, and 42% from deep. Julius Randle, 15 points, 7 boards, 4 assists. Marking 14 and 7. Jan Drayton, 13 and 10. Juan Carr Jr., 9 and 6. Uh, Jalen Johnson, 8 and uh, 3 and 2. Shot 42% from deep. Juan Carr Jr., th shot 30% from deep. 8 and shot 27%. Uh, Lamella Ball, 8 uh, points per game, 4 assists. Derrick Rose, 7 points per game, also 2 assists. Shot 37% from beyond the arc. Daniel Gafford, 6 points in his first or second season, actually. Uh, shooting 60% from the field, 4 boards. And uh, yeah, let's just simulate this um, the playoffs here and see if we can make it to the NBA Finals and win this season. So last year, uh, I did look back and saw the recording that what happened was. Uh, well, I don't, know, I don't know what happened, really, why it didn't really work, but uh, I believe we made it to the conference finals once more. We lost to the Celtics again, unfortunately, so yeah, that didn't work out too well. And we're down in the Knicks here. Two, or now it's 2 2. 3 2 us. Can we win in 6? We do. We're taking on the 76ers. I wish we could have played the Celtics because I'm pretty sure we played them in year one. Uh, we're up 1 0 here on the Sixers. 3 3 3 0. Okay, we got it. And gentlemen, sweep. We got it. We win in five. We're taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, RJ Hampton, who we did. we Actually, this is the Suns team that we did make a big trade with. Um, yeah, they have Andy Davis, RJ Barry, Goran Dragic, uh, Jalen Smith, Noel, Jeremy Zach and Jr. I did make a trade with them, I think, because that's how they have Noel. Anyway, let's simulate the first game. We are up 1-0. 2-0. 2-1. Three, one. RJ Barrett leading the way. Zach Levine here for us. Nice game. Uh, let's simcast this last game. Maybe get a little bit of gameplay for you guys. Hopefully we don't blow it. Two minutes left. I'm hopping in. I am on Superstar. And uh, yeah, we're going to give the ball to Kobe White here. We are at the UC's. It was Zach Levine. Get the one card junior on Anthony Davis. Frick. 
Nice, nice steal. DeAndre and running the break. Mid range shot. Goes down. Wendell Carter Jr. draws the foul. Kobe White behind the back, taking it to the rack. Hard foul. And one. What a shot. Nice D from Aiden. Great defense. Good to Zach Levine. Over to Kobe White. Finally cutting Aiden. Back out to Randall. Taking it inside. Misses. Randall mid range. Okay, that doesn't go. Marking in for three. It, bet it goes down. Here's the final game stats here. Marking in 27, Levine 25, Randall 19. Look at the ends rate 15 and 16. Kobe White. Just a phenomenal performance from this Bulls team. Chicago Bulls have won the championship, of course. Kobe White does get finals MVP, 18 points a game, 8 assists, 2 steals, shooting 53% of the field, 44 from downtown. Looking at the playoff stats real quick. Uh, points per game, we were number 2. Points allowed, number 1. Point differential, number 1. Player stats, you guys can take a look at these as I close out this video. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, go ahead and drop a like and a video to subscribe for more content. And I will see you all in the next one.